Hey guys, Sullivan Workshop here, and welcome to a new series. Uh, today we are playing on the Shop Pro Network, and we are playing Mind Z. So, if you don't want to know what that is, Mind Z is a uh, single player, well, actually, no, it's multiplayer. Uh, PvP, PvE experience, uh, zombie survival game in Minecraft. And in my experience, it's been a whole lot of fun. So I thought I'd give it a shot for a series, and we'll just play it until I die, and then that will be it. And then if you guys like it, we'll play another episode, or another series. Anyways, so I have a map here uh, that I've looked at that you can find online. It's called Mind Z. It's just called just Search Mind Z uh, map, and you'll go find this. And basically, I'm heading for a town here because it's getting night. Uh, we're going to avoid zombies, but we're going to try to get up and get some basic gear, uh, try to find some health potions, and then we'll head north, because the whole point of this game is to try to get the best gear you possibly can, and not die. Basically, try not to die. I've gotten pretty far in this game. I've made it all the way to the northern uh, border, and I usually die once I get up there, because I... I, I get overconfident, I get uh, uh, I get too excited about finding new cool areas, and this, this map we're playing on is absolutely ginormous. Um, oh god, don't get me zombies, please don't get me. There's probably one right out here, isn't there? Yeah, so this, like I said, this is a survival game, it is PvP. Can kill people if you see them. You can take their stuff and nice and get them stuff. Most of the time, people kill each other in this game, I've noticed. <laughs> Died several times to yay, health potions. So you can only find health potions in, uh, in uh, places like these. They're churches, basically. Churches and towns have health stuff and uh, it's a I want all the instant health twos on my hotbar. I'll take these and put them out. So, two big things about this game um, are keeping a hold of your health because natural regeneration is off. So, if you take damage, you take damage. Uh, there's also things like the zombies can make you bleed, and so you have to use bandages uh, to, re to heal yourself. Also, so if you see. My XP bar flashing, that's how much noise I'm making. If that goes up, all the zombies come after me. Also, my XP level is how much water I have, and if I hit zero, I start dying of uh, dehydration. But as you can see, I have a water bottle. If I drink that, then it goes back up to 20. But then I have to find more water. So, yeah, you kind of get how this works, and well, we're just going to keep on going here. Let's go. We have some armor to repair our armor with. There we go. And basically, the gear gets better the farther north you go. So, I'll be heading north soon. I have a destination in mind. I'll probably have to check my map. Snowball. Aren't these grenades? I'm trying to remember. No. But these you can throw and distract the zombies. It'll make all the zombies run to one certain spot so you can get around them and get to good things. So it's good to have those. Food, anything you eat heals you half a heart. So the best food in this game is cookies because cookies you can eat a lot of times and gain a lot of health that way. So yeah, I do know a bit about this game. Uh, the big things you have to watch out for are inventory management. I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of groaning over the things I have to throw out. As you can see, the zombies are faster, and 
they can do more damage because they can be really annoying. They're bleed, uh, making bleed to death, and rarely they, you can get poisoned by them. I think uh, they can give you a disease, and then you have to find a way of healing yourself. Go back to the coast. It's water. There should be water in this town somewhere. I just don't like going very far without finding water. Uh, more than one water bottle because it does go down not too fast, but decently fast. Oh, can I use sugar for it? I forgot. So you see this says soul bound on it. If I throw that out, it breaks. So I don't. I can't pick it up again, basically. And I don't know why they did that, but that's just for you know, your starting gear. Anything else you find won't be soul bound. It's just what you start with is soul bound. So if you throw it out, you can't collect it again. I think they did that so that like players would think. Actually, no. I really have no idea why they did that. It doesn't make much sense. One goal we might make is to slay a giant. It just said, tip beware the giant. It's a very difficult creature, but it's rumored to drop some more of the valuable items. And I've never actually seen a giant in this game. I've been in the area where they spawn, but I've never actually seen one myself. I usually die to the zombie pigmen because they're really nasty. They run up and explode. Ugh, that's how I've died multiple times. Uh, let's go for this water here. Try not to let those zombies see me. Okay, got water. So, uh, actually, let me drink up, grab some more water, and we're off. We're going to head to the next town. I think I might uh, stop and check my map quickly here, just so I make sure I know where I'm going. But I think it's pretty much straight north from here. I'm heading for. Let's see, I'm heading for. Um. I I don't think I can get this map up on screen, but maybe sometime I will. We'll see. I'm heading for. Um, Worthington, which is the chords are three seven two zero, negative two eighty. So. We're at 3-6, so basically 100 blocks that direction, right, yeah, and we don't want to sprint because that will track the zombies very fast. We could go to the mansion, uh, that might be interesting, the mansion is right that direction. Worthington, or whatever it was called, I think it was like Worthington, is right across this lake here, like right over there. Ah, eh, sure. We'll go on a little adventure here. Try to take out the mansion. I I've heard the mansion can be difficult, but very rewarding. Um, never actually been there myself. I've been to different mansions on this map not this particular one. I just know that a lot of times there's a bunch of zombies around mansions. Good source of water here. So we'll go to the mansion and then we'll go to Worthington, or whatever it was called. And there's a bunch of zombies over there. Now, I intentionally picked a server that doesn't have very many people on it, and that's because, honestly, I don't like the PvP thing. It really annoys me. I, I primarily play this game for the PvP. Experience. Let me check the chords here. It's three. Heartless Mansion is. Okay, this road goes right by it. So. Yep, there's the mansion. Hopefully, we can find maybe some chain gear in here. That'd be nice to have. Armor's good because it. You know, you take less damage, so you don't have to find so much food or use health potions to heal. Oh no, I have been to this mansion once. And I think I may have, no I didn't die here, but I 
took a bunch of damage here. <laughs> That's not promising. So we have to find a way in. Huh. So I think, let's see, let's look at this roadside. Yeah, Worthington is that direction. So we'll head there after we check out this place. And then I'll probably end the episode in Worthington, and I'll, uh, I, I might not give an end to these. No, <laughs> now that I've said I'm going to end it there, so I'll probably end it there. Like I said, I'm just repeating myself now. <laughs> Here we got a chest and an apple. And let's see. Crafting bench. I don't have any wheat, do I? No, I don't. Rotten flesh. Oh, chest. Watermelon. That's good. I have to remember what I can do with sugar. Oh, I think you need it for making cookies, don't you? It's an important ingredient to cookies. Sugar. Cookies would be very boring without sugar. Um, yeah, we'll take that. As you can see, my inventory is already filling up. That's something I'm gonna be constantly keeping an eye on. Oh, is that lag? Why? Why am I? Why am I glitching back? Hey. Okay. Um, odd. I think I'm having weird lag here. Let's try crouching. Huh, that seems to work. Let's go up the stairs. Might be something good upstairs. What is with this lag back? I wonder if it's because I'm recording. Anyways. Sorry if that's really annoying to you guys. Hopefully it doesn't happen too much in this series. Otherwise I'll probably have to stop playing this game. I don't usually have lag. Seems kind of odd. Whoa! Oh, oh, I'm so glad I landed into the water there. Am I stuck now? Milk! Oh, it's an antidote! And arrows, okay. Arrows are really powerful in this game, but they make a whole lot of noise. So, if you do use them, you want to make sure you get a shot, you get a kill. Because otherwise you get tons of zombies after you. <laughs> So, as you can see, that food healed me half a heart. Uh, I don't see any zombies, but I don't feel like running. It's too risky. Yeah, because there's a zombie right there, and that guy knows I'm here. You coming after me, dude? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that did not go very well. Uh, that's frustrating. He got me behind one of these vines so I couldn't hit him. And this goes up. Let's take it. I eat my message. Oh, I just sprinted there. I totally just sprinted there. killed you, so I have the weight. So jumping doesn't make much noise. Swimming make, makes noise, and sprinting makes a lot of noise, even if you just touch the sprint key. Zombies come running for you. Okay, it looks like we've looted a bunch of this castle, so let's move on to Worthington. If I'm missing one, please yell at me in the comments. Just say, you missed one! And I can laugh and say, yeah. Oh, here's another chest. I feel like we already got that one. But the chests do... do respawn, so... One nice thing about drinking is, no matter what... no matter what your uh, hydration is, it goes right up to full whenever you drink, so... That's something you, that's, in, that's in mind scene one. It's not, as far as I know, it's not in mind scene two. It might be. 
Oh, the rain, that's good. Okay, rain is actually good because it dampens the noise and zombies are less likely to notice you if, you're, if it's raining. Okay, we probably have a bit of a walk here. I think I'll take a shortcut though. Because I know where Worthington is, and I know this road is just going to go up right up there and then turn. Yep, here's the road again. And I'm just going to make sure I know where I'm going and check the cords quickly. And yeah, yep, we're going to go in the right direction. Almost there. Oh, what's that direction? This says Worthington Coal Castle. Oh, I wonder if that's any good. Maybe that's where we'll go next after after we check out Worthington. Let's see. Some items I would like. Uh, another water bottle would be good because then I can feel better about traveling farther without having to worry too much about um, what should we call it uh, worry about water too much see I'm gonna do a bit of jumping here because I think that will take my hunger down so I can eat again and get some health not that I have much food but I have some milk yay half a heart I also need better weapons and armor. I'm gonna see these good sounds. Turn the weather down a little bit. It's always annoying for you too. Let's try it here. These mushrooms don't stack. Oh, that's annoying. Probably be throwing a few of those out. Should be something good up here. I was wrong. There isn't anything good up here. Oh no, there, there's a chest. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a really good chest. You do not get gear like this early on. An iron chest plate? Come on. That is good. Oh, ow, ow. That was really bad on my part. Whoa! Zombie, 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 zombie! And the zombie is dead. Just like that. Jeez, my wooden sword is running out. I need to find a weapon. Um, weapon, weapon, weapon. Maybe in here? Come on. Has to be something. Oh! Wow, another good military chest. Hey, now we don't have leather. I, I don't think I've ever, ever gotten 
non-leather gear that fast. Like that that was that was pretty fast. Usually I have to go a lot farther north for that kind of thing. Shears are good. Uh, I think you it might only be good for multiplayer though. Like when I mess around with other people, I think you can use them to help heal your friends. Uh, nothing up here. There's a zombie that knows where I am. But I know where he is, and I just killed him. And got an apple. Do a bit more jumping. And... I think that's pretty good for this town. So I'm kind of curious about that castle place. I think we'll head there next. Castles are always fun in this game. Lots of good loot. Armory of the King. Do not enter. Oh boy, I really want to enter now. I saw a chest in there, and I have a feeling this says armory, so that means good weapons. Is there a good way in? Come on, there's got to be a broken window or something. Oh no, this is probably something you need a redstone torch for. Some places to get in, you need a key, which is, of course, a button or a redstone torch. These places with iron doors, but they have really good loot. Anyways, I guess we'll head out of town. Keep moving here. I want to go check out that castle, so let's head this direction. <laughs> 